welcome to Stand Up Gal. Right now, it is five days before Christmas. What? Can I get a hallelujah? So Shannon and I are going to go to Peddler's Village so that her and I can see some Christmas lights. They also have a gingerbread making house contest and we're gonna check it all out right now so that we can get into the spirit of Christmas. She just took the dog out. Now the dog's in here. Hey, Gilda, Gilda, what's up girl? Did you have fun with mommy? Shannon, I was just telling everybody, where are we going? We're going Peddler's Village. Yes, we are. Check out the Christmas stuff. Check out the lights. Check, check out, out the, the lights. Shops. Check out the shops. It, Peddler's well, Village, if you haven't been, it's like gingerbread houses everywhere. That's it's why I said, I said there's you know a gingerbread like? making house contest. Yeah, it's yes. just the cutest thing. Yes. And right now, so I'm feeling good. I'm a bit of a two beer queer. I just beat Shannon in pool. She's really upset about it. Look how upset she got when you said that. She was like, oh, did you beat me in pool? It's really to be decided. I, I don't know if I'd say she won, per I se. Won. Like, 100% say... I won. I was like, I was like, and Shannon was like, <laughs> She's just like that. That's exactly how she was. But guys, join us. Come to Peddler's Village with us because you will not be disappointed because I'm telling you, it is the cutest display of lights. It's the cutest display of gingerbread houses. You guys want to give Gilda a treat? Ooh, let's do it. Here, you take this. Okay. No, no, no. You take this. Oh, for them? Yeah. Okay, so they've got it in their hand. Tell Gilda to sit. Good girl. Tell Gilda to high five. High five. Good job. That Ooh. one. That one. There you go. Now high five, high five, not high five. low five. Good job. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. It's called having the perfect dog. I don't like to brag about it. We just do. Um, she's just like super cute. She just like does everything we say. And guys, you don't even know this yet. We moved. I haven't vlogged in so long. We moved and we have not done a video where you guys get to see our whole new house. But you can see kind of a little sneak peek in the background. It's a beautiful place. You'll and say hi. Say hi. Oh, she loves her mommy. She does. She, she loves her mommy. She loves me. She loves me. I think like she loves her mommies. Plural. Plural. Also, if you're one of those lesbians who doesn't like dogs and you like cats better, you can still watch the show. You can still watch it. We just aren't going to like you a little bit less. I just like I don't want to I don't want to explain this again, but like I I love animals. I just love dogs more because cats. I don't like going to somebody's house and like not knowing an animal's there until the third time I'm there. You ever go to somebody's house who has a cat and then like you're there the third time and the cat comes out and I'm like oh I didn't know you had a cat and they're like yeah no she was always here she just likes to hide like bitch I don't like animals that hide and then just come out like you've been watching me for some reason, because you feel off. Anyway, it's a totally different story. Come along for Christmas, let's go to Peddler's Village. Should I make this a day pack destination, Shannon? Yeah! Day pack destinations, Peddler's Village. Day pack destinations episode, because I don't remember. Let's go! Head into the car, head into the car, head into the car, so then we can go, 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 to Peddler's Village. What'd you say? I don't know. Alright, let me check. I'll meet you up there. Yeah, slice them. Yeah, I got them keys. Let's go to Peddler's Village and have a Christmas time. Let's have a Christmas time. Let's have a Christmas time. Christmas time. Christmas time. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas time. What? I didn't get to the car because my wallet is in the car. Her wallet was always in the car. Look how cute she is. Who? You. Look how cute. You're high in my head. Oh. He's so cute. Let's go. Let's go. You guys can't see it because it's so far away, but that's Santa. He's on the train. Santa said hello. Shannon, wasn't Santa there? Yeah. And he waved. He did. He waved right to you. I don't know about that. Like, I don't know if he waved right to me, but like he waved. He was like, hey guys, Merry Christmas. This has to be, this is probably um, Polar Express. Yeah, I think so. Shannon, I can't wait to have kids so that we can go to the Polar Express. I mean, you don't have to do it with kids. To the Polex. 
Okay. Well, it's gonna be weird if you and I show up as adults in yeah. PJs. You're right, that would be weird. But like, if we're wine drunk and then we do that, it wouldn't oh be that weird. Oh my God, I would love us wine drunk and go on the Polar on Express. The Polar Express done it'll be even better if like instead of like cute matching pajamas we show up in like an sync t-shirt like a really baggy <laughs> yeah. one or you wear like m&m and just like and then and, like and then like so we just like biker tra shorts. trashy people oh yeah that'd be great we should do it totally should do it and by totally i mean never do it ever yeah because i don't want to be a creep so shannon and i just got to peddler's village it looks really dark right now but we had to park not a really far away but just hey, like across the street hey sam um i just want to know like can you see me in the sweatshirt i feel like i can't i'm not really in the scene she's making a joke because she's wearing a fluorescent green sweatshirt but you guys can't even really see that so her joke falls short oh really you can't see the it green? looks cool i mean i'm just teasing you know how she also teased when she was putting her jacket on she punched me in the face and she was like she was like Sorry, I didn't mean to punch you in the face. I was just trying to make fun of you and tease you. You heard it here, folks. It's cool to beat your wife. She didn't even apologize. She doesn't give kisses, nothing. And you know what? She lost tonight in pool when we played pool at the bar, which you guys didn't see. And we best played best two out of three. And she did a terrible job. This is true. No sorries? No sorries? Maybe. I could go for some hot chocolate. <gasps> can we get that? Yes, we can get hot chocolate. Give me another kiss. A better one. Hey, better one. I'm walking you to the sidewalk. No better kisses? Oh. She didn't want to get hit by a car. Imagine that. <laughs> She's always thinking about the safety. All right, let's go to Peddler's Village. I just got obviously to Peddler's Village and it's packed because yes. it's the weekend before Christmas. Which we didn't think about. <laughs> and as much as I don't mind people, Shannon is like, Bag this way. <laughs> she loves it. She loves a good crowd. But we saw these people who actually had coffee cups and we were like, we were like, what uh what do you uh where'd you guys get those and they were like coffee cupcake place so let's go get it so shannon and i were gonna stand in one of these long lines to get hot chocolate or like coffee but then everybody in these lines looks very dissatisfied yeah we can be patient we, we didn't come here for the coffee no we'll stop at starbucks at some point in time baby <laughs> we're gonna last here because there's just way too many people there's a lot of people and some of them smell like body odor even in the winter 
so we might go get coffee. <laughs> Shannon wants to know what's in the sticky situation. It's honey tasting. Want to taste some honey? Okay. Want to taste some honey, honey? Sure, honey. Let's do it. Do you want to try? I'm sure it's great, honey, but I don't like your. <laughs> That situation was too sticky for Shannon and I. Honestly, it was gross. <laughs> it's a bunch of people. <sighs> Can't do it. Gross, but we can do this. Yes, we can. Shannon and I found an area where there's like nobody. It's glorious. It's absolutely it's glorious. It's nice because we can still enjoy the lights and not have to be a part of the people. It's wonderful. It's like everything you want from Bendler's Village. For real. But I think even better is that Shannon and I get to just walk yeah. by ourselves and enjoy Christmas. Yeah. But back to a sticky situation. And okay. it was a lot of, okay. it was a lot of, let me break this down for you. It's a honey and syrup artisan store. And you can go around and taste every single one. But in order to do that, they have cans with little holes cut out of the top of the mason jar. And you just stick your little dipping stick in, taste it, and then move on. But people are totally double dipping. And that's, that's just bad for everybody. And uh, Shannon and I are very into not getting sick before Christmas. Or so, at all. Or at all, yeah. So I don't want your germs like. It was just like so. It was li it was a sticky situation. It was a sticky situation. We had a situation, and it was a sticky, sticky situation. situation. That looks so pretty. Honestly, though. I wanted to yell in there though. Who hits a girl? a girl? So like we're on this side of the street, and then like there's all the hustle and bustle over there. Which is pretty from afar. Yeah. It's probably pretty from the comfort of your office chair or the toilet stall you're currently occupying but I'm assuming they're watching it while they poop. <laughs> well, either way, I'm enjoying the time with you. Me too. And I love you. I love you too. Let's go get a coffee. Sure. Somewhere where we don't have to wait in a line for five hours. Okay. Preferably. For me. go we really won't stay baby it's cold outside so peddler's village thank you for the lights we had we fun saw some of the shops yep and we saw a lot of the people a lot of people a lot of people and uh, it's really on us for choosing the weekend before christmas to come here it is and honestly so chen and i went to a bar we played pool yeah and again, I'll repeat it again, I did beat her. She did, she beat me. And then she was like, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? And she was like, want to go to Peddler's Village and look at the lights? And I thought that was like the sweetest idea. So Peddler's Village is amazing. Um, I would say if you're going to go to like a partier area, like a place where you want to like get down, New Hope is right down the street. There's um, tons of bars, tons of restaurants. Yes, and Peddler's yeah. Village is more for like shopping. families and shopping and pretty much kids it's, it's more kid friendly yeah there's, there's like a bunch of, of lights you know hot chocolate stands there's a bunch of those toy stores where they have like very expensive toys that are wooden that nobody wants but like when you're here and you're a kid you're like yeah I need that and they always do something for the holidays they always have like a gingerbread competition a gingerbread competition which was like just gotta lower the volume it's, we're gonna get copyrighted so bad so bad but yeah they always have something going on so it's like nice to go and now my glasses are fogging up 
Oh, it's getting steamy in here. They're coming off. Um, so definitely check out Peddler's Village. It's definitely a, a great place to check out and especially before Christmas because they have all the lights up. What? And then if you really, really want to go all out, you go to Peddler's Village and once you get cold, you're like, I want to get all warmed up in the car. You stop in New Hope, you grab yourself a coffee, and then you go to Shady Brook Farms and you see the lights from your car. It's just $30 a car and Shannon and I don't want to pay that clout. Right? Oh, you disrupt your, your glasses underneath my foot while I'm driving. That's a sticky situation. That's a... Put your seatbelt on, please. More Christmas stuff to come. All right, so Sam just went to go get... Oh, that's pretty close to my face. All right, let's try again. So Sam just went to go get me hot chocolate. And look, she got us both some. Look at how sweet she is. Hey, Sam. Hey, baby. What do you have there? Coffee. Coffee for me? Yep, coffee and a hot chocolate for me because I want a hot chocolate. Thanks, love. A wonderful Saturday before Christmas. It is a wonderful Saturday before Christmas. Yeah. We should look at neighborhood lights now. Okay, we can do that. Mm -hmm. Can we really? Sure, I need you to hold this, so thank you very much. See you guys later. So Shannon and I have been going through uh, Bordentown and going through the neighborhoods and just like looking at all of the lights and you gotta check this house out. It's so good. How good is this? Look at all their inflatables. I love it. They have a minion. Yeah, they do have a minion. So cute. If you guys wanna be just like you guys just want to kill date night, just go to Wawa, grab some hot chocolates, drive around, and look at lights. Killing it. Easy date night. I love it. Oh, Merry Christmas to all! So while Shannon and I were like driving through the neighborhoods, I was like, oh, there's this awesome house in Hamilton that does like their house all up. And Shannon was like, oh, I've never been there. So um, now we're going to Martell's Christmas lights spectacular. So let's go check it out. Let's go. Let's do it. This guy fills all these little houses with like little sceneries and stuffed animals, and it's adorable. Oh, that's like look at this. There's only three days till Christmas. <laughs> we thought it said Christmas 03, and that people were like, like way behind. We were like 2003 was a long time ago. Man, this thing goes fast. Yeah. Those bears better be careful. Well, so what do you think? Magical. <laughs>
said Shannon's never seen this. So, she's like showing a, a, a little kid Martell's. I love it. So we just got home and that's the end of our little holiday extravaganza with lights. Right, Shan? Yep. And now we're going to probably turn the TV on, sit with our little puppy, and watch a Christmas movie. Preferably Christmas Vacation, because we haven't seen it yet. Right, Shan? Not this year. Let's do it. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We freaking loved going to Peddler's Village, minus the fact that it was cold, and then deciding to go out and see all the other lights that were around the town. So thanks for joining us. And if you liked this video, like and subscribe. And if you know of any places that have spectacular light shows in New Jersey, comment below and let us know. All right guys, Merry Christmas.